Hey guys, so for today's video, uh, you get makeup list Danielle today. Usually I only go makeup list when I'm doing some sort of like mask or skincare routine or something like that, but that's not what's happening today. I just really didn't feel like putting makeup on. Um, and I wanted to film my Beauty Heroes box today because it's going to go live this week. So I wanted to make sure I had it for you on November 1st. But like, I just really didn't feel like doing makeup today. And some days I just, I have those days. Usually on the weekends is when I film and it's like the only time of the week that I wear makeup anymore. Um, and I filmed some videos yesterday and more makeup, but then I slept in my makeup. <laughs> so today I did like a couple of masks. I'm testing some new skincare that I'm really liking, you know, some new serums and things like that. And like by the time I was all done, I just like, my skin feels good and I don't want to cover it up. So it is, you know, I'm like pretty broken out. It's kind of blotchy and red, but you know what? Whatever. We're just going to go with it because I don't feel like, I don't feel like doing anything to it. <laughs> Oliver's out here riding his bike, um, so you will hear him from time to time. He's either dragging around his, his lawnmower or he's like riding his bike, but he's happy. We haven't been outside in a while. And it's supposed to get really warm today. It's supposed to be like 92. So I also don't want to sit out here for too long because this stuff um, this month is a little bit heat sensitive. So the featured brand this month is a new brand to the Beauty Hero shop. They only recently came into the Beauty Hero shop. I think they've been in there about a month. Um, and you may have noticed, you may have not. I don't know how well you guys keep up with, you know, what's coming in uh, new to the Beauty Hero store. But they are a UK brand. I don't really know of any other US retailers that carry them. I mean, they might. I haven't done a ton of research <laughs> on uh, who carries them or not. But they are a UK brand. And the brand being featured this month is In Light Beauty, which is also a new to me brand. I haven't uh, had the pleasure of experiencing them before, but I have been following them for a while. I have been really interested in their skincare. I think actually one of their masks was featured in another box. I feel like it might've been Maple, the Maple Bloom box, which I haven't tried, but I've, I follow them. Um, but I think one of the masks that's in this box was actually featured in that box. But let's get into the two products, the Hero and the Sidekick for this month. So the Line Softener Intensive is the Hero product this month. And this is made to do exactly what the name suggests. It's for deep lines, it's for around the eye area, neck, anywhere that you've got a lot of sort of like deep line issues. Like mine are my forehead. Um, and if I hold this face long enough, this sort of like stays <laughs> um, around my eyes, definitely. And it's really only like maybe, maybe these, but they don't really like stay. I don't know. So like my forehead is like my real deep line uh, issue area. So that's the hero product and the sidekick is the superfood mask which of course you guys know me i love a good mask and in light also did send a couple of other products for me to try out and give you guys a little bit of a review on so i'll talk about those at the end but first let's talk about the hero product i'm not going to have too much like personal experience with this because i do feel like this is one of those products that you have to use like the entire jar of to see results or to notice results it's not something that you're going to see in like the two or three week testing period that you know ambassadors get to do these reviews. Um, I also haven't used a ton of it because you don't need very much. I don't put it all over my face. I just put it in the areas where I'm having like a little bit of like line issues. So for me, I've been putting it on my forehead and I've been putting it around my eyes. So you really need like the tiniest amount. So it looks like I haven't used a ton because I haven't. So the full size, which is 28 mil, so it's a little bit less than an ounce, is $129. I love the scent of this, it smells really great. It's an oil-based blend of jojoba, argan, macadamia, olive, sunflower, apricot kernel, coconut, rosehip, and evening primrose. Um, it delivers nutrients, minerals, and fatty acids that leave the skin looking plump and of course softened. Carrot root, rose, horsetail, bilberry, plantain, and spirulina are added to the famous matrix and melt instantly into the skin, providing deep nourishment without a greasy feel. I do, I do uh, get a lot of rose when I smell it, which I love, I love anything rose. I do find for me though that it is a bit greasy like I'll put it on um, as the last step in my skincare routine. So I usually will have used a moisturizer of some kind since I'm not using this all over my face. Um, and usually when I put bombs on, they have sunken into my skin overnight, but I don't know if it's, it can't penetrate the moisturizer or I don't know if maybe I need to do this first and then moisturize the rest of my face. I haven't played around with it too much because I have not had it for too terribly long. It did get to us a little bit later than um, the ambassador packages usually do. But I do find that it doesn't sink in and it does 
it's it is sort of like still greasy in the morning so i am going to play around with this a lot more um i'll be testing it for a longer duration of time because i definitely don't think the ambassador period this month was enough to notice any results or to give you guys any kind of real review so um if you have been looking for something something um to help with like deep lines or wrinkles or things like that that is the featured products this month and while i can't speak to it yet i hope to be able to at some point in the future it's got a lot of great ingredients and it is really beautiful to use so i hope to you know be able to in a couple of months give you some better idea of <laughs> how it worked on deep lines and such so the sidekick is the one that i'm actually the most excited about because i do really like this um, this is the superfood mask so this is ideal for skin in need of a radiant lift this refreshing and nourishing botanical mask delivers a concentration of antioxidants and vitamins from rose seed oil, baobab, carrot root, and frankincense. Spirulina rich in chlorophyll paired with barley leaf and rosehip oil all work synergistically to promote healthy skin cell turnover and collagen production while protecting the skin against environmental stressors. Jojoba sesame evening primrose shea and sunflower oils restore the skin's moisture. This organic blend gently exfoliates while improving firmness and hydration over time. And I have used this twice. So we do get a full size in the box this month. It's like a very deep green. I've used it twice. It is a small size for a mask. It's 25 mil. So again, a little bit less than an ounce. And the full size runs $58. So the value of the box this month is about 190 if I've got my math right, <laughs> it's a little bit less than 190. So it is a great value for the box this month. Um, and if you've been wanting to try anything from InLight, I do really, I really, really like this box. So the mask almost, it feels very like mermaid mask-esque to me. If you've ever tried the Leilani mermaid mask, it sort of gives me the same feel on my skin that the mermaid mask does. Um, it is very, it, you don't really smell it when it's in the, the pot, but when you get it on your skin, the frankincense is very prominent. And I have had issues in the past with masks that contain frankincense. I love it as an ingredient, but the scent for me, frankincense can be a little bit of a unpleasant scent for me. And I did have another mask once that I ended up having to give away because I just couldn't deal with the frankincense scent. This one I think is, it's subtle enough for me it, I mean, it's still there and it, it does come out when it's on your skin, but it's it's not as unpleasant for me as previous masks with frankincense have been. So it, while you don't really smell it in the pot, um, it, it does sort of like come out more on your skin. And depending on how sensitive you are to frankincense, if it's a scent that you know you really just don't get on with, um, just know that ahead of time about the mask that once it's on your skin you can really smell it a lot more that is one of the masks that i used this morning so i did a lot to my skin this morning because like i said i slept in my makeup <laughs> i woke up at four to take my contacts out because i fell asleep nursing the kid um i i was planning on getting up and like taking a bath and like doing a whole face mask thing last night but then i fell asleep like i usually do i just i don't know why i still try to get up after i put him to sleep i always end up falling asleep so i double cleansed this morning um i used the in light cleanser which is one of the products that they did send over for you know further review it's a non-emulsifying balm cleanser so you do need to remove it with a warm washcloth which i don't mind um it is a really beautiful formula it is sesame oil jojoba olive there is some beeswax coconut oil shea lavender lemon clove rosehip green tea evening primrose um, ginger rosemary so it is a really beautiful formula it's really really effective um, i find that it removes pretty much all of my makeup i love the way it smells it feels really like it's really creamy on the skin um, and you don't need a ton i've used it a couple of times and i i used way too much the first time because i wasn't i never really know with like balm cleansers how much i'm gonna need so i end up using too much the first time and then i sort of adjust so you don't need a ton it really does break down everything mascara um eyebrow included i haven't worn any eyeshadow in a while so i don't know about that but it, it should break it down um depending on how you usually like to remove eye makeup and then I did a second cleanse of like a foaming cleanser, one that I'm testing. So, and then after my double cleansing, I did do the superfood mask, which I left on for I think like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, they say to leave it on, remove it after 10 minutes, but I like to leave my masks on a lot longer to work a lot longer. Um, I really, really like that one. It leaves my skin feeling very like soft and nourished and um, I don't know, almost like 
starting to be like repaired and like moisturized my skin just like it feels really good right now so then after i removed that with a warm washcloth i did the skin owl maki berry whip as like a second mask i did some under eye gels from 100 percent pure and then i used a couple of serums another one i'm testing for another box and then uh, some other stuff that I'm testing for a review that I'm working on. <laughs> Lots of testing going on right now. There's not much I can tell you um, about my routine because it's, it's all going to come out this month. Um, but the other thing that they sent over was their other mask, which is their chocolate mask. I've only used this one once so far. But this one, again, this one is a great moisturizing mask where this one is like the mermaid mask where it's sort of like repairing and... It is a bit moisturizing too because of the formula, but this one is like more just like straight moisturizing mask where this one is slightly exfoliating and moisturizing and repairing and like detoxing. This one is like a chocolate orange scent. Um, let me tell you a little bit more. Well, it's intensely nourishing with an irresistible chocolate and orange fragrance. Um, this one's sesame, coconut, beeswax, potato, sunflower, cocoa, um, jojoba, corn, starch, argan, baobab. Carob, sweet orange, evening primrose, shea, carrot, lavender, rosemary, calendula, and rose. Whoops, I moved my camera, sorry. Um, but I really like all the Inlight products that I've been able to try. I find that they're just very, very great formulas and they work really well for my skin. My skin feels really good when I use them. It likes them a lot. So if you've been looking to try anything from Inlight, um, definitely subscribe to the box this month and maybe pick up some other stuff that's in the you know the shop they also are carrying their face oil they're carrying their rose tonic i believe the foot balm is also in the shop but just to sort of like wrap it up and cap it <laughs> um the hero products from this month was the line softener which i definitely think you're going to need um, a bit more of a testing period to see any kind of result, especially from something that claims to help with fine lines, deep fine lines, especially wrinkles, anything like that. It needs a longer testing period. Um, the superfood mask though, I am really liking. Um, masks in general, I can tell, you know, the first time or two if I really like them and I do really like that one. I wish I came in a bigger size because I feel like I'm gonna be out of this like super quick because I've used it twice and I feel like I'm like halfway through the jar already. Um, the face cleanser, if you want to try a new non-emulsifying balm cleanser, that one is great in the store. I do really like it. Um, and then the chocolate mask is another, I think that's, they, they only have two face masks as far as I know. Um, and that one is also in the shop, plus a few other things. So I'll link down the shop page for Inlight Beauty if you wanna check out anything else they've got in there. But um, these were the two things that really like stood out to me that I wanted to try. Um, from the in like collections. So all in all, I am really loving the box this month. I do think it's a great box, especially if um, you have more like dry skin. I think these are great products for dry skin. Um, though I have oily acne prone skin and my skin has been, you know, reacting great to them. I haven't had any breakout issues related to skincare. It's been related to other things. Um, but yeah, I've really been liking this box. So just a few more things i guess if you missed the little gift guide video i did um you would have missed that the day mommy yell sleep series is available i'll link that down below but it's a 99 dollars discovery that contains um settle anchor and rise and then a little sleep journal which would be great for you know if you're looking for a unique gift for somebody that you really love or even for yourself if you've been wanting to try any of the sleep series products from day mommy yell which i'm surprised i actually thought that would be sold out like a long time ago um there are three more limited discoveries coming in november i do think there will be a weekend edition but i don't know yet when it will be or any of the actual details on it but i do think one is coming this month and i'm trying to think that might actually be all that i've got beauty heroes news related right now so i hope that you guys enjoyed this i hope that it was helpful if you've been looking into some in light beauty products um have you tried in light beauty before if you're US based, I mean, if you're UK based, you might have tried them. I don't know how many of you guys are actually UK based. I think most of you are US based, but have you been wanting to try them? Is this a brand that intrigues you? What do you think about the box this month? And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.